Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will see how we can generate some dummy data into the Databricks. See, sometimes it is really important to create some data, right? And the Databricks based on your specification, based on your schema design, right? So that you can play around. In meanwhile, the actual data comes into the picture. So you can generate the dummy data into the Databricks also. So I'll show you how you can generate it, okay? And that will help you. So let me share my screen quickly. Okay, and in this one, yeah, so if you talk about dummy data, on, sorry, yeah, so first of all, we need to create a st structure out of it, right? We can, we need to create a scheme out of it, right? So let me, let me put a few statements, let me copy this command, yeah, so that it will save your time also. And I'll import a few more things, like I need to generate some strings, I need to create some integers, random numbers and everything, right? So I need these libraries to generate that particular data, okay? Or test it. Now, I'll create one schema, okay? So, yeah. Now I'll copy one schema and I'll show you, okay? You can change it according to your needs, but if you see here, I'm creating few columns. Let's say column one, column two, column three, and each column has some uh, different types. Like the first one is integer, the second one is string, double, integer, date type, and again, two strings, okay. So you can design your schema, what kind of data you wanted to generate, okay. And once the schema is designed, now you have to insert the values into it, right, to create a class, okay or to create a basically a uh, data frame or anything, right? Maybe a file or something you want to generate. Now I will create a dictionary, okay? Which will generate 100 records, let's say, okay? For all these columns, okay? So, yeah. So if you see here, I'm creating a dictionary, okay? And I'm saying inside this, yeah. So inside this, if you see here, there is some issue. Why? Okay, yeah, it is there. I just, yeah. So if you see here, I am creating a dictionary, okay, which will create 100 records. So if you see here, I have created, I have used one for loop also, okay. So how much records I wanted to create. Let's say 10 in menu initially. And I'm giving some value, like column one should have some integer value, right? So I have used that random class, okay? And then I'm using rand integer. It will generate some integer between one to 100. Then again, for second column, since I have to create some string, what I have done is I have used random class. Again, there is a method choice in which I'm saying use the string with upper class and plus digits, okay? And keep the length till 10, okay? Then again, I am generating uniform for the double type, okay? And then again, random integer, now date time, then I have created one string, okay? And then again, I'm joining it, okay? To create one more string. So it's up to me, like how I'm generating it, right? So since you see this, there is a colon and then I'm joining something with it, okay? Because to use this function, I need a join. That's why I've used empty basically okay empty string you can say and then i'm joining it with some other string if the first thing is string the rest all will be treated as a string that's why i'm using it okay now it will generate 10 10 records okay so if i run this random is not even okay let me run this again yeah so our data is ready now schema is ready data is ready okay but data is in object form now okay or basically a dictionary. Now I wanted to create a data frame out of it. So what I'll use, I'll use spark dot, come on. Yeah, create data frame. And I will say, this is my data, okay? And these are my columns, okay? One minute, I have it. Yeah. Okay, and I'll simply, Save this data. Yeah. Now, 
<clears throat> our data frame is created. Now you can use this data frame if you wanted to create a file or if you wanted to create a parquet file or anything, right? You can work around it. Yes, you can play around it. See, you are good to go. So that's how you can generate your data. If you want 100 records, you can just, instead of that loop here, yeah, which we are running till then, you can put 100 and it will work for you. And you can create as many as columns as you want. So this is I. This is how generally I create some demo data if I wanted to use some specific schemas, right? Otherwise, obviously, you have multiple open CSV files which you can read it from the internet and you can walk around it. So that's it. That's it for this video. It is just for creating the demo data. I hope this video will be helpful for you guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.